So as we begin our study of linear equations and functions, the first type that we're going to run across are what are called direct variations. Now a direct variation equation is any linear equation of the form y equals kx where k does not equal zero. Basically what this means is we have a direct relationship, a straight line, that passes through the origin. Now if we were to solve this equation for k, we come out, you know, y equals kx. There's multiplication here, so we're going to divide both sides by x. And using our reflexive property, changing the sides here, we end up with k equals y divided by x. So if we can get everything down to a simple form where this relationship is always held true, then we have direct variation. And the way this would look in a series of tables is this, with these two tables. If we can take and constantly create a ratio of our y values to our x values and always end up with the same fraction, then there's direct variation. So in our first table, we take 2 divided by 1 and try and set that equal to 6 divided by 3 and set that equal to 8 divided by 4. Well, all these fractions simply reduce down to the whole number, to the integer value of 2. Actually, it's a natural number if we go all the way. Now, looking at our second graph, so yes, this one is direct variation. Our second graph, if we ta or our table, if we take 5 over 1, try and set that equal to 35 over 7, try and set that equal to 55 over 10. Well, 5 divided by 1 is 5, 35 divided by 7 is 5, 55 divided by 10 is 5.5. The first two are equal, the last one is not. So this is not direct variation. We need that ratio of y's to x's to always be the same thing. That same value is called the constant. And here we have a k. I know this is misspelt but it is the constant of variation. Help you remember it. So, in a raw equation, we need to be able to simplify or solve our equation for y to see if we have direct variation. If we start out with the equation y, sorry, 3y equals 7x, solve this for y, divide both sides by 3, get y equals 7 thirds x, this is direct variation. We have our y, our x, and then our constant of variation, and that constant is 7 thirds. Now, take another equation, 7y equals 14x plus 7, divide both sides by 7, so we have y equals 2x plus 1, this is not direct variation, and the problem is that one on the end. It's going to give us a starting point other than the origin. Now direct variation with these equations have a lot of application to finance and sales. If you were to go through and look at a situation just on a common shopping trip, the idea of direct variation is that we include it in every table, if we look back at our tables, would be the point zero, zero. It has to pass through the origin in order to come out with this constant. So if you go to the store and you're, you have a bit of a sweet tooth and you want to satisfy it, and candy bars are on sale two for one dollar. So the num how much money you spend is a function of the number of candy bars you buy. Specifically, f of x equals 0.5x. Now if we were to build a table of values from this, question comes down, what does it cost to buy zero? You know, if I go through and say I buy two candy bars, well that's one dollar. If I buy eight candy bars, that's four dollars. 
But what happens if I buy zero candy bars? Does the store charge me just for walking in even if I don't purchase anything? The answer is no. If I buy no candy, I spend no money. Because we go through this point zero zero, it becomes a direct variation. So when we're thinking of this in terms of a visual representation, how it would appear on a graph, we'll get the following situation. So taking our situation of the candy bars and putting it to a graph, again we have our function f of x equals 0.5x or 1 half x. Said if we bought two candy bars, that cost us a dollar. If we bought eight candy bars, it would cost us four dollars. Then we had this value of zero, zero, so if we bought no candy bars, it cost us no money. And plotting the points, continuing out the relationship or the function, we end up with this series of points that if we were to connect them, we end up with a straight line that passes through the origin. So ultimately, any line that has zero, zero as a point, no matter which direction it goes or what's happening with it, as long as it passes through that origin, we can consider it to be direct variation and follow the properties that are allowed with it, including finding that constant of variation. Now, direct variation is a basis starting point for linear functions and relationships, so we're going to take this idea and build onto it.